Pisces, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to um, Saturn moving into Aquarius reading for you. Um, so for the past three years it's been going through Capricorn in your 11th house. So possible manifestations of the last three years for you. Um, you may have developed better sort of team building, team working um, skills. Um, aimed for achieving your goals and your wishes. We could have done a sharing of knowledge and skills, you know, really sort of bonding in teams and um, utilising your knowledge. Um, and the obviously possible downside of that has been overused for your knowledge. Um, you may have joined a group of uh, activists, you know, a bit of activism um, can be in the 11th house. It's also a house of friendships as well. So there could have been a big changes in your friend environments, you know, falling out with old friends because you just no longer have the same ideals. Um, other negatives are failure and disappointments. Um, Saturn can bring instant karma in the 11th house. Um, there's also an element of a feeling of everybody hating you. Yeah, can be something the 11th house brings. But you've said goodbye to that. You've had a brief introduction to the 12th house during March to July, end of March to beginning of July, when Saturn went into Aquarius before retrograding back into Capricorn. So the 12th house, you may have had a little insti little snippets of it so far in that period. Um, 12th house is let letting go of the past. It's healing of body, mind and soul. It's um, encountering your true self, your higher self. Um, sometimes the possible manifestations negatively can be mental health problems. It can be time spent in hospital, time in prison for some, um, uh, an asylum if, you know, if necessary. Uh, there can be very low energy fatigue, all these that uh, the potential to watch out for. So, Pisces going into the 12th house. What do we got? We're going to do a Celtic, my version of a Celtic cross. Um, we'll clarify and get something out there. It's not going to be resonating for every single Piscean, so do check out your moon and your rising, also your Saturn placement, and check where Saturn is actually transiting in your um, chart because um, that will give you the big insight of to what's coming up for you. I mean, all Pisces will snip it a little bit of the 12th house at some stage during this um, uh, transit, but for real in-depth knowledge for yourself, look at where it's actually transiting in your houses. Okay, thank you for the like, share, subscribe, comments, everything. The uh, channel's doing fantastically well. It's all down to yourselves, and it's much appreciated, so thank you. And if you want to delve into your own situation deeper, check out the description box. Um, all the details for private reads are there. Pisces in the 12th house. What have we got? Two more. Page of Swords. Okay. Study, possibly. Eureka moment. Could be a lot of eyes on you. Um, I must feel like he's tipping toeing around somebody as well. I'm looking at the the feet really stood out there, tiptoeing around something. Let's see, crossing you. Root of the matter. Recent past. What you want. What's coming in? How you see yourself. How others see you. Advice. And potential outcome. Beautiful. Okay, oh, tower with the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Could be, the tower could could indicate hospitalisation, um, you know, asylum, um, prison, you know, these type of things. So you know, do be careful um, of that. So a page of swords. Kind of feel like this is you try to write your own script and going forward. The problem is what's crossing you is a Ten of Swords. You're not willing to let something go. There's something that you're not willing to let go of. 
root of the matter is a seven of wands. You need to let it go because I'm almost getting like to protect your energy. You need to let something go. You know, rejection is protection type of thing. Um, the recent past is temperance. This could be you balancing aspects of your life. Um, Again, for some of you, this started uh, during the period between March and July, like I said, you know, this is this seeing yourself as a higher self, um, seeing that you're more to, um, there's more to life than just this vessel, uh, that type of energy. So I kind of feel, whoever I'm speaking to here, this is kind of really started to sink in during that brief initial period um, and that's going to start coming flooding back as well what you want is the six of cups you could want children you could want someone from your past returning um, you could want nostalgia um, feeling of closeness you see there's almost an element of feeling lost but you're holding on to something it could be something deep rooted to do with your past, your childhood really. Something that you're not willing to let go of. Um, what's coming in is the Ace of Wands. So there's a brand new beginning, brand new passion starting. Again, we're in that 12th house of healing, body, mind and soul. Um, for me, this is the healing of the soul in this sense. But it, to, to, to get that, you need to I mean, we'll, we will clarify, clarify, I want to see what this is, um, the Ten of Swords. You're not letting go of something though, but which you need to. How you see yourself is the Nine of Swords. You've not got a very good outlook on yourself. You don't sleep well. Um, feeling burdened. You don't think you can cope. You take on others. For me, the dark birds here are other people's problems, and this is you trying to help them. This is you. This is temperance. Trying to help everybody. You can't help everybody. I kind of feel there's a message here, Pisces. You can't help everybody. Uh, but the problem is, you take it to heart if you can't. So that needs to sort of heal. You, um, how others see you is the Three of Cups. So somebody wants to reconcile. Could be friendships, you know, you've come out of the 11th house where you've, um, you know, ended friends friendships with uh, with many people. You know, it's, it's the 11th house, you go through changes. People that you've been friends with for many, many years, you just don't hold the same ideals. But they may be looking back now and um, wanting to reconcile. Your advice is the Ace of Swords to speak your truth. I would say just speak your truth and that's it. You don't have to take anything else on board. If people come to you for advice, you're giving me advice. Done. You know, if they're willing to take it, fantastic. If they're not, not your issue. You've tried. Don't take this to bed, if that makes sense. The outcome is very good though. We've got the three of ones. Ships are coming in. But the eight of ones could be travel, could be messages. Um, they could be coming in very, very quickly. And the Emperor. This is you taking control. Finding yourself. Finding your power. Could be a Divine Masculine coming in for you. Again, don't get caught up in, in gender. I'm just reading the cards. Once we find out what you're holding on to, then we can release that. And that you need to let this go of trying to help everybody. I feel Pisces. Um, you're a water sign, you're very, you know, you're full of empathy as it is, um, but you can't help everybody. Let's see.
two of swords with a hangman and the king of pentacles. Okay, Pisces, you're blocking your own path to financial freedom, independence, stability. Okay. So, Page of Swords is clarified by the Strength card. Could be dealing with a Leo. Um, yeah, I'm getting like a circus act somewhere. I'm getting, you know, obviously, circus, there's animals, there's lions, uh, and I'm looking, walking the tightrope. There's some sort of circus act going on, I can't think what, why. Crossing here is the Ten of Swords with a Page of Wands. Okay. Not willing to let something go. Could be a child. Um. Or childish behaviour, maybe not letting childish behaviour go. The the wand is very standing out here for me. Um, this could be this could be a, a sexuality thing. Not willing to. You know, for some of you, not willing to come out of the closet, that type of thing. Uh, for for others of you, this is um, maybe not willing to look beyond the physical. The root of the matter is um, seven of wands with the eight of cups, and again, I'm hearing rejection is your protection. So there's something that's happened for a reason for your protection recent past is temperance with the seven of wands um, again this is you seeing yourself as your higher self you know you're taking that higher ground um, with the temperance here go for Sagittarius in your chart what you want is a six of cups with a knight of swords you want somebody from your past to take action Interestingly enough, actually, some maybe somebody from your past has come back and you're wanting them to stay in the past. You know, the Knight of Swords is looking into the past. And what do we do in the 12th house? We let go of the past. What's coming in is the Ace of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Wands. So I kind of feel like what I said about that, you know, healing of the soul, uh, new beginnings. This is what is coming in for you. How you see yourself is the Nine of Swords with the King of Swords. You take everything over analyze everything every single communication that you get you over analyze it uh, and it's causing some disruption uh, in the mind you could have dealt with somebody very very narcissistic in the past uh, and it still plagues you what you want uh, what you want what um, how they see you is the Three of Cups with the Five of Wands. They want reconciliation and they want to fight for it. I've got a feeling this past person that's coming back is is the page. It could be just somebody that was just very immature that's coming back. Um, I think they were narcissistic. I think they were toxic. And I think you're going to speak your truth because the, your advice is the Ace of Swords with the Devil. Capricorn energy, but I kind of feel like this is saying, speak your truth, and the you know the sword can cut, cut away the toxic, toxic um, things in your life. I think somebody's coming back. Somebody's coming back, uh, and you need to reject it for your own protection. I think is here. It's something where, for some reason, you've not let it go properly yet, but you do. I kind of feel like you do. Because when you release it, the magic starts to happen. The Three of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the eight Emperor. Uh, it's clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and the Emperor. So there's a Divine Masculine coming back. Or coming in. I don't think this person, this passport... They may be coming back as an Emperor. 
maybe reformed after prison. And now they're coming back as an emperor. I, yeah, I kind of feel like that's... Maybe a person's been to prison. Or spent time in a asylum of some, t some type. Um, with the Eight of Swords here. But they've really worked on themselves whilst there. 888 is abundance. Got the Emperor twice here. Interesting. Um, yeah. You need to. They they may have changed. Um, that, I mean, let me take a overall energy of that outcome. The three of swords. They may say they've changed. That. I don't think they have. Three of swords. Yeah, you need to turn this person down. The twelve house is letting go of the past. This person needs to stay in the past. And also, I'm kind of getting here that this person would maybe even getting back together with this person would end up either putting you in prison or putting you in hospital or putting you in a mental asylum. I think that they've got that capability. There's a very controlling energy here with the Emperor here twice and the Devil. So yeah, let this let this go, Pisces. So somebody from your past is going to return, and you need to just tell them they're going to try and say that they've completely reformed. Um, but you know, seriously, there's more to it that you don't see. Okay, Pisces, you could be dealing with a Leo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Aries, strong Aries. But there's swords, there's cups, there's wands, there's pentacles, everybody's here. Um, so yeah, interesting. Follow the 12 house rules, let go of the past. Okay, look after yourself. Let me know if it resonates. Um, good luck and thank you for following the channel and I'll see you soon.